Hello Stings, in this video we will be looking at the domain and range. We will define those as the set of all x values for domain and range will be defined as the set of all y values and we will be looking at how these relate to both discrete and continuous functions. So let's start with domain. It asks what is the domain of the graph shown? So here we have a discrete function. So that means we are going to have specific values of x. So here we have this ordered pair, its x value is 10. So I will have a 10. Over here, this one has an x value of 20. The next point has an x value of 30. The next point has an x value of 40. Then we have 50. 60, 70, 80, and 90. Remember to signify a set by putting braces at both the beginning and the end. For our y values for the discrete function, we will have a specific list because we have specific points. Um, We'll be using 15 for these, or some value of 5 that falls between the 10 and 20, or the um, 20 and 30. So we'll start here at this first point. We'll just start from the lowest and go to the highest. The first value we see here for the range, if we bring it across, that would be approximately 15. So we're just going to go with 5s and 10s. This next point as we go up is 25 this point as we go up is 30 this point as we go up is 40 next point up is here at 50 after 50 we have two points that are at 55 but we only write it down one time then we go up to 60 and finally the last point up here is at a value of 70 Again, because it is a discrete function, you must show your set as a list of numbers, and we show that set by using braces. With a continuous function, we are looking at how far up and how far down the graph goes for the range, and we are looking at a domain of how far left and how far right, and we want all the numbers in between, so all those little decimals and fractions which means it's more than we can list. In a discrete function, we just have specific points so we can list those values. But in a continuous function, it is impossible for us to just list them as a, um, as a specific list of numbers. So we're going to use inequalities. So what we're going to do is find the x value that is furthest left and the x value that is furthest right. So this x value over here, the graph stops over here at 0, or we could say it starts at an x value of 0, and over here at an x value of 8 is where it stops. Our x values are completely between 0 and 8. It's everything between there. Ev well, I didn't put an x. I apologize. Let me fix that. Our x values are what go in the middle. So we have an x in the middle, every x value being between 0 and 8. It does equal 0, so when we use our inequality symbol, we're going to use a less than or equal to. On the right hand side, x has to be smaller than or equal to 8, because that's as far as it can go. It can't be any bigger and it has to be x is bigger than the 0, which means 0 is smaller than x, and it can't go any slower than the 0. So I went ahead and used these lines to define that space from 0 to 8. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the range. How low? Right here is as low as the range is going to go. And we don't look at a beginning point or an end point. We'll look at the totality of the graph. How high does the graph go? It goes all the way up here. So I am limiting my graph to go from this point down here all the way up to here. 
So the lowest value I can have for my range is a zero. And since we're looking at range, we're going to put a Y in the middle. And the highest I can go is up here, up here at 150. And again, Y has to be bigger than zero. So that means zero is less than or equal to Y because it has a point there, so we include the zero. At the 150, the graph is dark right here. There's no open circles, so we include that 150. And that's as high as the graph can go, which means that Y has to be less than or equal to 150. So anytime you have specific points, you have specific numbers to list for your domain and range. Anytime you have a continuous graph, which means it's a curve or a line or another shape, then you're going to look at all of those points, so we need to use an inequality because it's impossible for us to completely list those. So here are our boundaries for our domain. Here are the boundaries for our range. And there they are as inequalities.